everyone. This is me, Dr. Hassan Abdul Latif, Assistant Professor of Human Anatomy and uh, uh, Embryology at uh, Sultan Qaboos University. My project is about uh, creating a valid and a reliable test blueprint in an integrated learning program. Uh, this is an experimental study for developing a content valid student's examination. This project is under supervision of Professor Zainab Rifai. First, I'll start by a short brief about the background and uh, the aim of this project. Actually, a test blueprint is an essential element for passing and bridging the gaps which are present between a teaching, learning, and assessment process. It enhances the consistency and validity of examinations. A test blueprint specifies exactly uh, what is to be measured in which learning domain uh, and at what competency level. Uh, its limited implementation in modern integrated curricula requires additional and further research. Uh, this could be attributed to lack of time of test designers, uh, lack of knowledge and expertise in a, a varied number of medical institutions. The primary aim of, uh, of this project was uh, to develop a content valid test blueprint and to implement it or we can say and to start Im implementing it in a number of system-based courses which are held at SQU College of Medicine. Uh, the project Gantt chart um, started by reviewing the literature. This was done at January and February. Then I applied for the IRP approval and this was uh, done in March. Then I started beginning the intervention by designing uh, a test blueprint and uh, I started to build up a team and this was done in May and June. This was a little bit delayed due to uh, some modification in the learning uh, schedule of the college. Then I uh, started to um, um, present or make some seminars and the interviews and the, some group discussions this was done uh, during uh, or this will be held during July, August and uh, September. Then um, we have applied for or we have presented the progress report one, then progress report two at uh, June. And uh, actually there is some modification in this Gantt chart as I started to implement the blueprint a little bit early to assess for its um, uh, convenience and its uh, validity among the staff members. And then we will pass into the process or the step of data interpretation and the report, final report writing. And and finally, aim to have um, a manuscript and the publishing of our data. The main lessons learned from this project is how to design and plan for a project, how to implement the theory of change uh, for project design and the follow up the interventions, outcomes, goals, and how to link all together. Teamwork building strategy, this is very important. And I joined the student examination uh, committee this year, so I started to announce and held a number of uh, meetings during this uh, period. Fourth, how to evaluate, plan, and communicate action plan, how to evaluate and uh, de design an action plan, how to identify, manage a specific problem, and then we have a specific lessons which are related to this project. First, how to design and implement a predefined course test blueprint, how to use various analysis tools for interpreting a test response uh, pattern, changes made to the project. Uh, due to um, some changes during the summer vacation, uh, there are more time needed to build up a team. Due to the SQU instructional schedule, the starting time for seminars and the group discussions was altered. And I was advised by the head of my examin of the examination committee to start to, to uh, prepare and upload uh, a pre-recorded materials to the official college website and make it accessible to all staff upon uh, their request. Uh, third, uh, a blueprint was implemented and test design earlier than initially planned in order to evaluate its applicability and usability. And actually what is interesting here in this part is I started to apply and implement a new uh, psychometric analysis tool, which is the RASH model for analysis. And this allows me to shift from the usual or classical analysis using the classical test theory. And I started now a new step in using or implementing the item response here using the RASH model for the uh, analysis of test results. Thank you so much for your listening and good luck.